All right, guys, so it's been about a week or so since the MLF, FLW, acquisition, merger, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I did a video that day, the day that it was announced, just running down, you know, basically reading through the, the articles that were released online. And I got a ton of comments on there. A lot of them were negative hating on and bashing Major League Fishing and all these things that they're doing. So I wanted to give you some facts, run down, give you some history of bass fishing, and let you know that it's not as bad as you might think. So this is for all you haters out there. So one of the big complaints I've seen in the comments, just not even just in my video and other videos as well, is oh it's a six day event now and that's just too much pressure on the lake and it's just too much fishing for a tournament and yada 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 but the reality of it is it's no different than any other event as far as pressure actually it's less we're gonna have two days of practice then we're gonna have two days of full field tournament so that's four days at 150 boats. Then we're going to do a 75, then 10, 10, 10. In the previous, we would have three days of 160, 180 of practice, then two days of the event. So there's already five days of full field and then cut the 30 to 10. So in reality, it's less pressure on the fishery. So that's basically a load of crap second a six-day tournament in reality it's a five-day tournament uh, one person would only fish five tournament days and other organizations have done this in the past look at like college fishing events where they break off into brackets they fish a couple of days as a team and they break off into brackets so they end up fishing five six days in a row um, you look at the Bass Fest events, they used to have six, seven day events where they, they would break off to the people who didn't make the cut and let them fish an extra day and, and come back into the event. So these things have all been done before and it's just overreaction to change in the bass fishing world. Um, that's all I can come up with. You know, all these things have been done before and a lot of people are just overreacting and they just have this opinion formed against MLF that it's a, a dink fest and blah 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 it's too long and they just hate it for no reason when in reality they're coming in and shaking up the industry and making the changes that'll make it better for the future which leads me to my next point the zeroing of the weights that's another thing I, I read through all the comments there was a bunch of crying about, oh, this is so stupid. I'll never follow FLW again because they're going to start zeroing the weights. Well, obviously, if you say that, you haven't been following FLW very long because they used to zero their weights in every event. After you cut to the third day, it would zero your weights and it would go out and be the a new day, a new tournament essentially. Once you make that next round, they zero your weights and you moved on. So that's all been done in the past. That's nothing new. Do I like it? Eh, I'm on the fence about it. It'll work out either way. You know, it'll benefit me sometimes. It could hurt me sometimes. You never know. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's change, it's growing the sport, it's becoming better and you just can't hate on those things. Just be happy that uh, there's fishing available. Next, this is a big one. Oh, I don't watch MLF because it's a dink fest. I don't want to watch everyone catch a bunch of one pounders and blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, Five pounds is five pounds. There's nothing stopping anybody from catching a five pound bass. 
it's not that much easier to go catch one no I'm sorry it's not that much easier to go catch five one pounders than it is to catch one five pounder so at the end of the day it's still total weight it doesn't matter if you catch one five pounder or five one pounders you still have to catch more weight than everybody else so that is debunked which leads me to my final point here I get a ton of comments I've read a ton of comments that says MLF is destroying fishing it's destroying the sport of fishing are you kidding me at the end of the day if you love bass fishing you don't have to tournament fish you can just go out and catch your catch your bass have fun keep your five biggest in your live well and, and weigh in on your imaginary tournament if you want um, look here's the facts if bass was so great major league fishing wouldn't exist the anglers would have been happy with bass they would have stayed there with bass and they never would have started this bass pro tour which created this whole shakeup that's my point to everything change was needed and that's obvious now we don't know what the future holds so it could certainly be a bust but at the end of the day major league fishing created this new circuit and shook up the industry which caused bass to have to get better as well that's competition so if say if major league fishing doesn't work out then in turn it made bass get better so it's definitely better for the sport of bass fishing there's no way no how that, that could destroy the sport of bass fishing i i don't understand where that was coming from there's just so much hate out there lately and i just wanted to address it go through these few topics and just let you know at the end of the day none of this matters it's all just about catching fish we all love the sport of bass fishing so why all the negative comments why all the hate just get out and enjoy nature enjoy god's creation and catch some bass that's what it's all about well thanks for watching guys if you made it to the end of this video give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you haven't already i got more great content coming and uh thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next time